Hello and welcome to another episode of Kill Ant Reviews. Today we'll be talking about the Mirror of Infinity, uh, edited by Robert Silverberg. Uh, this is actually a collection of short sci-fi stories. Uh, a lot of it by famous authors like Isaac Asimov, Robert Sheckley, uh, Heinlein. And honestly, this was actually a really good book. From like start to finish, every story is at least it's at least decent. There's a few that I really wasn't a huge fan of, but it's, but it's true for most short stories. Uh, first of all, the cover definitely showed like a kind of like an interesting interesting artwork of basically a really weird looking mirror. Uh, also, the cover is not really the best. I actually got this from a coworker of mine. So the co he's he's read it several times, which is why the cover's kind of beat up. And it's actually it's a, it's just about three hundred pages long, so it's about average. And there's like thirteen short stories, uh, including like uh, including like small biographies of the authors too. So that actually takes up quite a bit of space. I didn't read the biographies because I already knew some of these authors. Um. For the most part, I can actually just explain why I don't. For most most sto short stories, I don't really go over like the whole, the whole short, all the short stories. I just like to go over like a few of them. Uh, honestly, H.G. Wells, the star was. It was definitely a great beginning story. Um, there's also there's also like the set known by Arthur D. C. Clarke, which was good. Robert Sheckley, a specialist. Uh, Isaac Asimov's, that one wasn't, I couldn't really get into that one compared to some of his others. Um, honestly, the most, the most effective one, uh, was I, I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream. Uh, I've actually, I haven't played the video game, but I know of the video game. I've seen people play it. And the, sh the short story is definitely as depressing as it can get. Um, mostly it's like, it's like a few people who like survive like a apocalypse of a AI who basically exterminates the human race, except for a few people that it just likes to torture over and over again. And it just gets to, it, it just gets more and more depressing from there, because they're all suffering. They they're barely fed. They're always starving. Have to make this long trek to get the canned food. And while it does go over like some of the some of the personalities, it's mostly just focusing on like one guy. And this is this is a very, really depressing story. Uh, it's definitely a must read. Uh, the video game itself is definitely has more of the backstory on the people. Uh, I haven't played it, but I've actually seen it. It's like a point and click adventure that um, that the actually the author was involved with, and he actually had to change the ending because originally there was not going to be a good ending. Uh, the Subliminal Man was also really interesting too because it all it actually it actually shows like people who like have to like upgrade their stuff and they're basically being told to buy buy buy. It's strangely like creepy because of what we are now. Uh, because what's funny is uh, I I often do get get uh picked out because my phone is actually pretty old compared to the other smartphones. But I still use it just because it works. And it just feels like a lot of people just want to upgrade their, their like phones, their cars, like every, every couple of years, even if there's works. And that story definitely goes, goes through it. And how it can be, be kind of uh, devastating. Uh, All You Zombies was also a de decent story too. Yeah, and. Yeah, I read this like a few weeks ago. I don't. Some of them are just like eh, a little forgettable. But I think, but definitely these. Basically, my favorite ones is H.G. Wells, the star, obviously, Arthur C. Clarke, Robert Sheckley, uh, the Subliminal Man, and I have no mouth on my screen. Uh, those are definitely my top five stories. And honestly, what I. I would actually absolutely recommend this book. Uh, most of the books I've seen now are more vintage, but if you're looking for some cool sci-fi stories, 
absolutely recommend it. Out of a 1 through 10, solid 9. So until next time, this is Killer Ant.